Hi folks, this is Tara the Homestead Hopeful, and today I'm calling you out. Well, maybe not everyone watching this video, but if you're not stocking up on food, water, and other essentials, I'm challenging you to start right now. No excuses. Let's take a look at some of the common excuses that might be holding you back, and we'll talk about why those excuses are not a reason to avoid prepping. Number one, I can't afford it. Bull. I don't care how little you make, if you can afford to eat, you can afford to prep. My dad is on Social Security and makes less than $600 a month, and over the last couple of years he's stocked shelves and shelves with dehydrated and canned vegetables, cornmeal, rice, beans, pasta, spaghetti sauce, and so much more. Even if you're dead broke and have absolutely nothing left, you can go to local food pantries. If you don't have enough to make ends meet, there's absolutely no shame in going to pantries. That's what they're there for. And even if you're only able to go to the dollar store and buy a bag of rice or beans for a buck, that's better than nothing. That's a few more meals you'll have on hand if a disaster strikes. Rome wasn't built in a day. Number two, I don't have room. I hear you. I live in a small two bedroom apartment with a total of five people. I have preps tucked away in every conceivable place in here. I have stuff on shelves, in drawers, under the bed and the couch, under and behind my TV stand. They're all over the place. I can pretty much guarantee you that no matter how small your dwelling is, there's space for at least a few weeks of food and water. Every little bit helps. If you need help figuring out places to store your preps, let me know down in the comments and if enough people are interested, I'll make a video showing some of the ways I've made room for my preps. Number three, I don't need to prep. Okay, this is the easiest one of all for me to dispel. Prepping is something that every single human being on earth should be doing. Prepping isn't something only crazy people do. In fact, up until about 50 years ago, most people prepped by putting away enough food to last them through the winter each year. Remember, disasters happen all the time. It doesn't have to be a war or an asteroid or something that has astronomical odds of happening. Just ask the survivors of hurricanes like Katrina, Andrew, Maria, or any other major hurricane. Ask the people of Venezuela if they thought, 10 years ago, that there would be a financial collapse and their once prosperous country would be struggling just to have food on the table. Ask the survivors of the Great Depression what having a year of food on hand would have meant to them. Folks, prepping is essential no matter where you live. Just look at what's going on this year in the United States. We're supposed to be the land of opportunity, right? But we've had flooding in some areas and droughts in others. We had a late spring in much of the country, so plantings were delayed. And we had torrential rains and early frosts that prevented harvests and stunted growth. This may lead to food shortages in potatoes, sugar, corn, wheat, soybeans, and so many other products that most of us eat daily. And remember, livestock eat those foods too, so the price of meat may skyrocket. We've had China killing 70-80% to 80 of their pigs because of swine fever. Australia had a disastrous wheat harvest this year. Thailand has criminalized, yes, criminalized, hoarding sticky rice for profit and price gouging because of shortages. India has banned exporting onions because of a massive shortage there. Canada's canola crops did poorly, so the price of canola oil may rise. Folks, this is no joke. This is real, and it's happening all over the globe right now. So here it is. I'm challenging you to start prepping right now. Don't wait another day. The next time you go to the store, buy something, anything, and tuck it away in case you need it. Even if it's a 20 cent pack of ramen noodles, that's one more meal you'll have if you need it. If you bought just one pack of ramen noodles every week, you'd have an extra 52 meals tucked away in a year. Granted, ramen noodles aren't the healthiest food on the planet, but they'll keep you alive for a while. No more excuses. Let me know in the comments if you plan to take on this challenge, and if not, let me know why. Is it because you're already prepping? Do you have another reason you feel you can't? Maybe the community can help. But don't let excuses keep you from doing what you need to do to survive. 
If you liked this video, please hit the like button and leave a comment. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll consider it and hit that bell icon so you'll get notifications when I post new videos. This is Tara, the Homestead Hopeful, saying stay prepared, stay safe, and stay hopeful.